Hello once again. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a couple of the sounds that I use on my electric kit and also how I'm connecting my electric kit to my computer to trigger a whole bunch of different drum samples. Let's check it out. First up, this is a Roland TD17 KV. If I went back and bought it again, I would maybe spend the extra money on the KVX because you do get an extra crash cymbal pad and you get upgraded pads on the cymbals, including the hi-hats, which is really great if you're taking your drumming pretty seriously. But one of the great things is, of course, you get the TD17 brain and there are some good sounds in there that I like to use, especially if I'm taking this out on gigs and that sort of thing. So first up, let me show you the kit that I use when I'm playing gigs. The basis for this kit is the warmer funk kit in the TD17 brain. So super quick, let me show you how to copy that over to a new user kit and then adjust a few of the sounds. So first up, grab your warmer funk kit and then hit other. Use the arrows to go down two times and hit copy. Then it's gonna ask you where you would like to copy that kit to. So I'm gonna go find my next available user kit. There we go, 54 and hit execute. Push enter to execute. And there we go, on 54 we have the warmer funk kit. Now when I was picking out these sounds, I think I kept the kit pretty much the same, but I just changed a few of the symbols. So let me run you through all of the sounds that I use on my gigging kit real quick. Of course, you might not agree, you might not like the sounds, but this is just something that I found pretty versatile when I'm playing shows. So you can see I've renamed this gigs one, and you can do that as well just in the other menu. If you just go down to name, it's a little bit tedious, but you only have to do it once, and then you can remember exactly which kit is which. So if I go to a sign, you can see that the kick drum is a birch kick. The snare drum is a steel snare. We've got 10 inch, 12 inch and 16 inch maple toms. The hi-hats are 14 inch session hi-hats. There's an 18 inch bright crash. and a 21 inch dry dark ride. That's just some sounds that I find really useful and I find them versatile in a lot of different situations. But obviously there's tons of good sounds in the TD17, so have a muck around and see what you like the best. Now another great way to get access to a bunch more sounds is to use your electric kit and trigger a drum sample library in your computer. I'm pretty sure we can set this up for free, so let me show you how it's done. So we're going to need to get some software for the computer and the first piece is a digital audio workstation. At the moment I'm using Reaper but in the past I have used Pro Tools and Logic but at the moment Reaper is pretty affordable, it's free for 60 days and there's tons of good support online and there's plenty of great features in there as well. So I'm finding it pretty easy to use and it's definitely a great option. If you head on over to reaper.fm and click download Reaper. Then from there, you just got to go down and select your operating system and you should be downloading and installing in no time. While we're grabbing some software, let's head on over and grab Stephen Slate Drums as well. Go to stephenslatedrums.com, hit products, go to SSD 5.5 free, and then you should be able to download. You will have to make an account, but I mean, everyone has your email address these days anyway, so I think there's no harm in that. And you get a couple of great kits to try out. Once that's done, let's open up Reaper and set up Stephen Slate drums on a channel. Open up Reaper and right click on the dark grey section on the left. Head down to insert virtual instrument on new track. And you should be able to find SSD Sampler 5, Stephen Slate. If you add that, it's going to open up the big virtual drum kit. And then if you double click on one of the drum kits that you want to use, it should start loading the sounds and then you're just about ready to go. The final step then is to connect the electric kit to the computer so the computer knows when to make the drum sounds. The easiest way to do that with the TD17 is to just connect using USB. You need a USB-B cable to USB-A, sort of like an old printer cable. And if you just take that straight out of the TD17 into your computer, your computer should recognize it and I'll show you quickly how to set that up in Reaper as well. Head on over to Options. Go down to Preferences. On the left, a little ways down, should be MIDI devices, just under audio. And that should have your TD17. And then you can right click 
and hit enable input. Then head over to the little red button next to where it says SSD sampler in Reaper, click that on and then you've record enabled the track. From there, when you hit the electric kit, you should see signal going into Reaper. In my own setup, I have an external sound module, a Focusrite Scarlett ADI20. It's like an external sound card. And I'm just using a MIDI cable out of the TD-17 into the back of the Focusrite Scarlett and that's how I'm connecting the electric kit to my computer. That would cost a bit of extra money if you don't already have a sound module, so I think it's better to try and do it for free, at least if you're only trying out the sounds. So overall, I think we should have the kit set up. Let's see what it sounds like. And there we go, we've spent zero dollars and we've got a bunch of new drum sounds to try out. I think it can be really inspiring and influence your playing just hearing some different sounds coming out of your electric kit. So hopefully you have a bunch of fun with that. Also with this technology stuff, everyone's situation can be a little bit different. So if you get stuck, especially in Reaper, do a quick search because there's lots of useful content online. But if you get stuck, hop in the comment section below and ask me a question and I'll see if I can help out as well. Anyway, that's how I run Steven Slate drums using my Roland TD-17 KV. I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you at the next lesson.